Hello, my name is Chip Studer, coming to you from the bike path here in Wade Park in Franklin County, Virginia. Uh, I'm starting a new video series I'm entitling Along the Path. You see, many times in the Bible, God uses the pathway or the road as a metaphor for our journey through life. And so, over the next several weeks or so, I want to be able to share a series of short little videos with you uh, that deal with the pathway of life. Uh, as God deals with me, I want to be able to, to share that with you um, in a very personal way. So today, I want to share with you a verse uh, that comes from the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6 says this, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. I want to unpack that verse for us in three steps. The first thing I want to do is I want to zero in on that word seek. And then we want to talk a little bit about calling upon the Lord. And then finally, we'll finish up with this idea of while he may be found. So first, put that word seek under a microscope. You know, if you're a, if you're a deer hunter, dial that scope up on nine and zoom right in on that word seek. It's an important word uh, in the Hebrew language. The word picture that it forms is actually uh, an animal trotting out a path around something or towards something. And so picture that. What the Lord is saying to us is seek him. Trot out a path toward him, not away from him. And boy, is that challenging in my heart as I, as I think about that. You know, if I were to ask you, um, is there evidence in your life that you're trotting out a path toward God? If you're a cattle farmer, uh, whether you're a dairyman or a beef person, then you understand what a cow path looks like. Um, if you're like me and you're a person who likes to be in the woods, then you know what a game trail is. You know, animals are creatures of habit. And, uh, you know, they get up from a bedding area and they trot out a path toward that food source. And then they trot that path back to that bedding area. And they do that over and over again. And there's evidence that's left behind. Uh, certainly, if you've ever been in, in a, near a water trough at a cow farm, then you know that there's evidence on the ground that there's been animals there. How about you? Is there evidence in your life that you're trotting out a path toward God? If I were to look in your bank account, would I see uh, in your statement some evidence that you've been trotting out toward a path toward God? If, if I were to look at your Bible, are there thumbprints on the edges of the pages? Are they dog-eared? Um, is, is there evidence that you've been in this book? You know, it was once said that if you are somebody who has a Bible that's falling apart, you more than likely belong to a family that is not. Think about that. Uh, and so seek the Lord. Trot out a path toward Him. Let's talk for a minute about this idea of call upon His name. You know, I think it was Amos was the first one to say, those that call upon His name shall be saved. And certainly today, if you're somebody who's never called upon the name of the Lord for salvation, that's something you need to think about. That's something you need to do. Uh, but for the believer, you know, God wants to hear from His children. Call upon His name. Um, uh, pray to Him. Talk to Him. Have an ongoing conversation with Him. And I promise you, it'll be rewarding. Call upon His name. Seek the Lord. Call upon His name while He is near. You know, the idea of while he is near, that doesn't indicate to us that God is uh, in some far off corner of the world operating, and then when he gets back in our area, we've got to hurry up and get his attention. That's not what that verse is trying to tell us at all. That's not what those words mean in the original language. What they mean, they indicate the idea of a personal opportunity, an intimate, close relationship with God. You seek the Lord while you have an opportunity. You know, right now, the Lord is presenting himself in a unique way to the entire world, in a way like I have never seen in my lifetime and many of you and yours. Uh, and so we have an opportunity in a worldwide way right now to seek the Lord, to call upon his name, and the promise is that we will be saved from the penalty of sin and from the power of sin. Seek the Lord while you have an opportunity. Call upon his name. You know, there is a finite amount of time, and there will come a day when we no longer have that opportunity. 
So I, I strongly urge you today, seek the Lord, trot out a path toward Him, call upon His name today while He may be found. Hey, this is Chip Studer, and now you've got my two cents worth. <laughs>